guys, what's popping? And today, I mean, we're in a new tutorial. I'm showing you what I edit with, and I edit with Adobe Photoshop Touch on Android. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make something. So I'm gonna take something pretty simple. Gallery, get something from where you want it from. Let's work on this car. Oh, we get rid of that. Okay. So, see, we have some layers that we can add. So, the first thing I normally do for my thumbnails, go onto text and say. Now, I'll actually go into one of my thumbnails that I made. So, this is my thumbnail. And we got a car. This is one of my thumbnails I made. And so, there's three layers. There's the text layer, right here. One second, I need to turn something on, I forgot. Pop it. From here. Automatically turn on. Here we go. Okay, now you can see what I'm clicking. So this is my newest one. Yeah, don't you like the bass drop in the back? Around? Okay. So we start. We have this layer, a Lamborghini that's been squashed up into the side. Then we have a text layer. Then we have. Then we have cut another back, the full background image. I started with that was keys. We got a car, then then I moved on to this text. We got a car. Remember, text is in here, right there. Then to move your items, you just go into transform right here. See, I can move the text, and I'll be able to move the car if I go into lays and touch it. So yeah, I might put a link in the description to the to Adobe Photoshop Touch. So now we're gonna make our own. Now we're gonna make our own. Boom. Let's work on um um fidget spinner. Just cause I can. So let's add another layer right now. First, I want to keep and remove some. So if you want to go to keep and remove, go right, go right there, and just hold it. If you it's, if it say if you start and you have this in your menu, you can just hold, then check, then just go onto this, then you go press keep, then shade in. The area you want to keep. You know, you don't need to be perfect, but it's good to be precise. So then you do the outside. After a move. Then not too much. I see how that looks. Yeah, pretty good. Maybe a bit more over there. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Bit more. Perfect. Let me go in here. Let me go. Where is it? Extract. Now we can get a background picture. Say background photo for the library. We really have one ready. The Lamborghini. Oh, whatever this car, I forgot the car. Then, let's just get that in. I want it really big. So then you switch these two layers down by holding the top one and going down. It's a bit rough, so we're gonna go into, one second, I'm not doing this. We're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go, where is it? Here. 
Oh yeah, we never do this. So. See how the edges are a bit rough? We don't want that. So we're gonna try and refine them by going into refine edge. Come on, second, we just need to redo this. Here we go. Move all this area. Enough. Now we're gonna go keep a bit over here. Yeah. Let me go up here and bring the refined edges. Then we go brush any clear edges that you want. Put it on here, Put it on there, and try and clean up a bit. So just mirrors are really hard to do, so. Or if it's not as good, it's rough. So I'm gonna try and make this fidget spinner be like on the Lamborghini. So I forgot the name of it, so I don't really care. And now you're down here. Then now I have to warp it. Sideways a bit. Too much. Oh, I messed that completely up. Let's go back. That looks terrible, to be honest with you. I hope I can do this. Or oh, this video is for no reason. Let's just go back to it being big. And maybe let's change the background picture then. Just leave that there. Empty layer. Go to library. Gallery. Pictures. Black screen. Done. Um, well, you can't do it perfect. It's on an smartphone so yeah let's pick one of these I like this mix this bin of stick out back so yeah sorry about that um what was I gonna say and we can rotate this it'd be cool if we could rotate this bin we probably can but I'm not going to go into that much detail. But I will do some fading. So you can see the Lamborghini a bit. A bit less. There you go. That's alright. I'm going to select all. And we're going to go in. Over. Do that just. That's better. You might not be able to see it, but yeah. Then we can go into cut and cut wherever you want. Okay. But I would not like to cut today. Um, let's go into pencil or paint. You can paint something. Whatever you want. I want a more blue. Okay, that didn't work out. We need just a quick spray, like here, 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 like that. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Now we can go and brush. 
and we want to make it real good. Oh yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just make it up, up, up. Yeah, that's good enough. So we're uh, completely blue. Now we're gonna change that. To aqua. There we go. I like the look of that. You could do better, but I guess that's good enough for me. I'll take that. So, there's my tutorial and how I make my thumbnails. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Let's add some text. Oh, uh, wrong one. Sorry. Then we're gonna go in here, text. Text, say, I got my first did get fidget spin up. Was there a six? I got my first fidget spinner. Then we go down a bit. Whoa, that's a bit big. Oh damn, I messed it up. No, it stopped. Well, you can see what I mean. Sometimes it does stop. But that's my tutorial on how Oh, it saved actually. Oops, not too bad. That's my tutorial on how to do photo, how I do my thumbnails. So, see you in the next one. Peace.